Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Dr. Frankenstein here, aka Ken Turner. So in continuing LEGO Jurassic Park week on the channel, we're going to be doing a couple of Bricker build sets. So the first one we're going to be doing is the Barbasol container, which has the dino DNA. So this is what Dennis Nedry uses to steal the dino DNA just before he tries to head to the ship to get off the island. And then the second one we're going to be doing is the Mosquito Trapped in Amber. I got these two sets through the website for Bricker Builds. I'll leave a link in the description to their website. I think these two sets are really well designed, so I'm really excited to build them. So I'm going to do the builds, and at the very end, I'll do a review of each of the sets. So without further ado, let's head to Jurassic Park. So those were the builds for the Bricker Builds Jurassic Park sets. Now I'll start with the Barba Stud canister for the Dino DNA. So it came with this little note from the designer and it reads, Every dino smuggler needs a build they can count on. So that's why I've designed the totally inconspicuous can of Barba Stud shaving cream. I was presented with a unique challenge on this model to keep the can hollow to accommodate the removable cryo chamber. But thankfully the use of one by three curved slopes and brackets made this possible. Your collection is now the perfect place to hide dino DNA in plain sight. Ian Summers. So that came from Ian Summers, the designer. And here's the sticker sheet that it came with. So this big one was the logo for Barber Stud. And right underneath it, it said thick and rich shaving cream. And then the next one up over here was the one for the company Bricker Builds. The one in the corner here is for this one, it says original. And then this one in the other corner is for the back. So when you scan the code, it'll take you to the Bricker Builds website. And then there you'll see the animated Dennis Nedry shaking his finger and saying, oh, oh, oh you didn't say the magic word. And if you scroll to the bottom, you'll see the words click here. So you click there and it'll take you to the clip from Jurassic Park for that scene. So this was the sticker sheet. So this is the spray mount and you can see all the curved slopes used to create the can. So it comprises of this uh, dark blue, red and white color scheme. And then you can pop the top and it reveals all the dino DNA vials and those are comprised of these neon green one by ones and you can see all the translucent pieces for the cylinders and the domes and they've used a quite a few dish pieces in gray and red for the base here and when you're ready to hide the dino DNA you can put the top back on and it looks like a Barbasol can again. So now let's talk about the Mosquito in Amber. And this also came with a note from the designer. And it reads, Life finds a way. From the beginning, I knew a major necessity for this model would be utilizing translucent orange elements to capture the visual look of real amber. Thankfully, a variety of shapes and textures exist within this color, so I was able to achieve this design with some unconventional building techniques. I hope you enjoy this one-of-a-kind build. Louis Muni. 
So there's the note. So let's take a look at the build. So I can definitely say I've never built a set with this many orange translucent pieces or even just translucent pieces, period. A lot of these uh, windshield pieces, these one by two tiles. You can see some of these rock uh, translucent orange elements. And the top mainly is built out of these one by two plates. Now you can see the fly in there and the head is made out of an antenna. The wings are made out of one by two tiles and one by two plates. The legs are made out of uh, uh, Harry Potter wands in black. And then it's just clipped in here into this uh, wrench piece to make it appear like it's uh, frozen in the amber. And the base is mainly comprised of these slope pieces and these bars. Now it did come with a light kit. You can see right here. And the light kit was from Light My Bricks, just in this little uh, package. And there's the back. So you need one of those uh, flat circular uh, batteries. And then there's a little switch to turn it on. And now I'll turn off the lights so you can see what that looks like. All right, so I'm gonna turn on the lights now. That looks pretty cool. So you can see the mosquito right inside and you can see that light coming from the bottom. So right when you made the base, you had to install the light and it went between two uh, plates. I think it lights up the uh, translucent orange elements pretty well. I was pretty concerned because it was uh, looking like a really small light, but it really projects pretty well. So I think this will look really nice on my shelf, probably next to the other uh, Jurassic Park sets. So I'll turn that off now. So that's pretty much it for the Brick It Builds Jurassic Park sets. Let me know what you thought down below in the comment section. I think the issue that I had was attaching these uh, walls to the brackets. I think it was a little too flimsy at times and these things would come out a lot. Also these uh, circular plates that you see at the bottom there in gray, the instructions actually show them in green but I think it really doesn't matter because it's so far inside that you won't even see it at all. But other than that I think it was pretty good build. I think for the mosquito and amber that was attached to this uh, uh, wrench piece was a little too flimsy as well and the fly would either go back and forth a little too much and then I had to open it up to fix it. I also found the attachment from the two translucent cones to these rock pieces was also very hard to attach as sometimes these would uh, come out and then I had to uh, take it out, bring it all apart, try to get it out and then reattach it all again. But it is a pretty unique build, I would say. I doubt uh, LEGO would actually release anything like this because it's uh, just too expensive for people to buy all these uh, translucent pieces. But be sure to stay tuned for more reviews and builds of Jurassic Park sets during LEGO Jurassic Park week. Be sure to like and subscribe, hit that bell, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!